started in the early 70s by my father-in-law Jim and his wife Joan and now it has grown to include his two sons Jeff and I'm his wife and his brother Jared and we're the main force behind the farm here. Um, right now we're milking about three. Um, right now we're milking about 365, 370 cows today um, through the parlor and we're farming about a thousand acres besides with corn, beans, and alfalfa. Um, Um, all of our heifers are raised on site, they never leave. Um, from the very beginning, the first feeding, I test the maternal colostrum with a Brick's refractometer, and if it's not where I want it to be with the percent solids, I use the colostrum replacer for that heifer. She also is going to get a first defense bolus and enter D orally, and then later, a couple hours later, I also give her an Inforce 3 intranasally to try to ensure the best start I can get for these girls. They come up to a hundred. This is a Brick's refractometer that I used to test the maternal colostrum. Um, it's pretty simple to use. I don't know that it's gonna work because I'm using water, but a place to drop on here. Close the lid, hit go. I got a reading. So with milk, with the, with the colostrum, if it's higher than 23%, then I will use that maternal colostrum, but if it's lower than that, I use colostrum replacer, and I use, um, this is from Kova, the Convert Empower. I like it, I've been using it for probably three or four years, and it's done well for me. Yeah. These girls, they come up to a hutch, they're here for about 60 days, give or take. They get fed twice a day. I use Land Lakes Amplifier Max Milk Replacer, and I do a gradual weaning. I wean them down, over a two week period, I'd say probably the last week, I'll feed them once a day. And they also get um, grain and water right from the start. as you'll see have cinder blocks in them and the main reason for that is some of these calves like to escape so I put a cinder block in so they can't get out last week I had one that got out and was all the way up there at the house with the white fence we were all pretty wore out after chasing that girl so if I don't have to I don't want to and you also see the blocks underneath the hutches that I put under for ventilation on these warmer days and if it gets pretty warm, I'll double block them even to try to get as much air movement as I can in these hutches since they're not under roof and no shade cloth. After they're weaned, they go to our new barn that we just moved into last week and they're there for a while. Um, we dehorn and vaccinated about six months and we start breeding between 13, 13, 12 and a half to 13 months on our heifers, trying to get them to calve in by 22, 23 months. 